going on to all my Pisces? So let's get into it. So for the Pisces, we have the King of Wands, the Nine of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, uh, the Death card, the World, Page of Cups, the Hierophant, the King of Cups, and the Six of Cups. And let me just go ahead and say, I've got some videos that's coming for everybody. Uh, let me tell you, I'm going to keep that, that, uh, that steady flow of videos flowing through that bloodstream, if you know what I mean. So that rhyme. But anyway, but the point is, for you Pisces, you have the King of Wands, the Nine of Wands. So you've dealt with people recently who some of you have dealt with people recently who was arrogant. They tried to make it seem like they were a know-it-all. Blah, 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 blah. You've seen them. You've seen them once. You've seen them all. Pisces are very versed in in knowing these types of people who are pretty much uh, very arrogant, standoffish, disrespectful. They think they know everything. The King of Wands is, a, is an individual who doesn't necessarily have their story right. And as a, because of this, they can be very clumsy because the the problem for them is is that their perception is not necessarily the best they can't necessarily see things for what they are the nine of wands is and this is what causes them a lot of uh, trouble in the future because even though they make trying to make it seem like they got it uh under control and all of that not really due to the fact that they're in a position where they actually end up doing a lot more harm than good for their own selves the king of cups represents this is you moving forward away from this person that represents excuse me this king of cups you pisces don't have the time nor do you have the tolerance right patience and tolerance are two different things right patience is your ability to be calm to wait to see what happens right patience also represents endurance right as to where tolerance is how much you accept. Now, obviously, right, the King of Cups, excuse me, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands represents you and this person or this mentality that I have, that mentality that, that, um, that I see y'all have, right? Not me having that, but the mentality that a lot of you uh, cancer Sorry about that. A lot of stuff is, is bubbling up from my subconscious mind. I apologize. So a lot of stuff that you Pisces have, you realize that you are worth more than what it is that um, uh, a lot of people try to play you out for. A lot of times Pisces and Virgo, Scorpio, uh, Aries, Gemini uh, are some zodiac signs that end up getting undervalued, right? undervalued where people try to make it seem like you know the pisces uh isn't necessarily worth love because because they put their partner through all of these different things when in actuality you pisces really do you pisces really do uh deserve it you pisces actually do deserve love and that you know if if it's a zodiac sign that does deserve love it's you Pisces, especially if you Pisces are doing the, the right thing, right? Um, the Knight of Wands just basically represents the mentality that a lot of people are coming to you with, where they want to get on and act like they're Sadiddy. They're so much better than you. They're so much fancier than you, you know, with their nose up in the air. When in actuality, you Pisces are like, so you can get out of here if that's the case. Like, this is what it is. And the thing is that the, that's what the death card represents. The death card represents putting an end to that, putting an end to allowing people to do that to you, not really being in a situation where a lot of you really want to, to uh, engage with people like that. I just see how, you know, the world, a lot of you Pisces are going to learn from, learn from the relationships a lot of you Pisces are going to be out here talking to a lot of people, getting to know them, right? Getting to know them, 
Um, now, I will say this as a caveat, though, right, because we kind of have to keep creating those layers, right, to, to offer uh, people something new for them to understand just how deep the rabbit hole goes. I will say that if you've known a person for about uh, a week or so, right, or less than that, you can move forward. It's just that the average beginner may need a month because they have not been conditioned to understand what's going on in the dating market because the dating market is very messed up. Okay. So a lot of times, right, whether it be a teenager, a teenager is still wet behind the ears because they're not, they're not, they don't have a whole lot of years on them. So because they don't have a whole lot of years on them, they, there's not a whole lot of experience, right? So um, if you're in a situation where, and it doesn't necessarily have to be Pisces, but if you're in a situation where you've only known the person for like a day or something like this, you can move forward with someone new because it, you know, there's there's not a whole lot of time that it takes to bond with that person. So the things that the world represents uh, you're going to learn from your mistakes. You're going to learn from those setbacks. And you're going to approach people with the mentality that you have. And that's amazing because a lot more of you, a lot more of you people who come over here on my channel and who really want to do better and really, really do put in an effort off screen to really become better people, you need to have a strong foundation of, of real internal as well as external. But first internal value because once you're able to see and and in one of the videos and in one of the future videos i'm going to actually tell you what it is i see uh about the 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 state of the dating market and how i perceive it if you want to know just let me know in the comment section but the page of cups represents this being a situation for you as well as when these when these people who are not very in touch with reality, show up and they come around, you're going to already know what's going on with them. So the Hierophant just represents, you know that the next step, the, you know that the next step is with these types of people who represent this uh, page of cups, you know that that's not what it is that you want. So you'll, uh, bas you'll basically be able to walk away from them a whole lot easier with less damage because you will know how to deal with that internal issue already, right? If you knew, and if you want to know how to deal with that internal issue, contact me at KareemSpareWorks at Yahoo.com to book your private reading so I can go ahead and teach you how to do that. Um, or you can go directly to my website and book a reading, whether it's a birth chart reading or a private reading, and we could go ahead and discuss it there. The link to, to my website is in the description box. But the King of Cups represents, again, you Pisces, it's just evidence. You Pisces being okay. If, you know, you're not tripping out about relationships that don't work. The Six of Cups, the Six of Cups represents this being a situation uh, for you where you need to understand that since this is the case, this is about how a lot of you um expect to get a call back from this same uh king of wands right king of wands or the person that represents the page of cups but more so the king of wands at the very beginning because the page of cups is more from a perspective of the future right so when this person decides to come back give you a call back a lot of you pisces you know you'll sit there and listen potentially to what they have to say but let's clarify the Six of Cups. Let's clarify that, right? So we can get a better understanding of what's happening here. Let's, let's clarify that. So you have the Eight of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. Again, so what I'm seeing here for you, Pisces, is with the Eight of Swords and the Six of Wands. This is about how a lot of you Pisces, this person doesn't want you to go anywhere because they're so busy trying to play hard to get. 
yeah, Pisces, I've known those types of people myself. Those types of people are not really going anywhere in life because those are, the, trust me, those are the types of people who've been in situations where anytime you move on, they're going to be mad. Which from the looks of it is not going to be too much into the future. It's not going to be too far off. Because they need to understand that you that they can't tell someone that they don't want them to be around and then expect them to still rock with them. That doesn't work like that, right? So the Ace of uh, Pentacles represents how they need to bring something to the table. They need to bring more value. They need to stop having such a nasty mentality and stop trying to get upset with you because you haven't done anything to them. They need to learn to start opening up more. They need to change. And this is something that, you know, they're not they're not really understanding that if they don't change, a hard head is going to make a soft butt because you Pisces are not obligated to really be around them. Let's clarify the King of Cups. So the King of Cups, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Ace of Cups. So the Knight of Pentacles is about how, again, you bring value to the table, but they need to bring more value to the table because all they're doing, the person that, repre the person that represented this King of Wands from the past, all they're doing from the past when they, how do I say this? All these people that represent the King of Wands was doing was creating fights, creating drama. And now they're coming back to you and you have this new mentality. They have to do more and they are unwilling to do so because they don't know where to start. Because they know that they're not as fly as they tried to make it seem like they were. That's why it is that they were calling you again after you let them go and you moved on. The Six of Swords and the Ace of Cups represents how they're going to come back in and try to butter you up again by letting you know that, you know, they want to hang out with you. But they should have thought about that before they started doing the, the stuff that they were doing. Now, you Pisces can choose to take them back. I would suggest against it because if they were acting like that while they had you in a relationship, what do you think they're going to do if they get their foot back in the door? Let's clarify the death card and let's get out of here. All right. So. The cards that I come up with is the Wheel of Fortune. To clarify the death card, we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Two of Wands. So the Wheel of Fortune is about people try to downplay your value. You Pisces have more self-respect, real self-respect. So now people can't do that. Or they're going to find it very difficult for, of them to do that. The Four of Cups. So now they're going to have to actually try to get to know you. And if they don't want to get to know you, it is what it is. You don't care. <laughs> you know, you don't need them. And then you have the Two of Wands. They want you back because... Of how ruthlessly you walked away from them. But again, they should have thought about that before they started to pull the stuff that they did. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Um, appreciate it. Let's get to 2,000 subs. Currently, I have 1,930 subscribers. I would like to get to 2,000 uh, subs by the end of the year. Thank you. Subscribe.